One celebrity relationship fans are dying to know what really went wrong is no other than the love between British Jamaican rapper Steph London and Grammy winner Bonner Boy. When the going was good, the former lovers were dubbed the perfect power couple in Afrobeat and R&B reggae dancehall by fans. Even Bonner Boy's biggest fan, his grandmother, had the opportunity to meet the London rapper in 2019 and that was when we knew this relationship was on a whole different level. However, three years later and just as fans predicted, in December of 2021, Oluwa Bonner publicly dumped his longtime girlfriend in an Instagram post stating there is no woman in his life. He wrote, and for your information, Odoguno gets wife. Five months later, Bonaboy released a song titled Last Last. He sang dispassionately about love and heartbreak. Going by the song's lyrics, fans concluded it was a diss track to Steph London. Again in April of 2022, the twice as tall crooner known for going after women with ample dairy had equally hinted that he doesn't believe any girl loves him and the only woman who taught him what true love feels like is his grandmother. Well, Steph London, after several months of keeping her cool and indirectly trolling the yay singer on social media, in a recent tweet promised to tell her side of the story in a forthcoming single titled, First of All. Or so we thought, but it looks like Bonaboy shut it down before it even began. Amidst the stares, the On The Low singer has sparked another dating rumor with BB Ninja star Nengi after they were spotted in the club together in a really cozy position. How did Bonaboy and Steph London get to this messy point? And what does Odogu have to say about his ex-girlfriend's diss track? Hello guys, it's t here for African Glitz. Love, they say, is beautiful, but it can appear even more beautiful when it's shared between two musicians. Following years of baby mama drama and numerous one-night stands, self-styled African giant Bonner Boy met British Jamaican singer Steph London in what everyone thought was a match made in heaven. The singers were first spotted together in February 2019 after Bonner Boy shared a video of himself shirtless with Steph in his bed fast asleep. However, the Jamaican singer was quick to tell fans on an Insta story, relax guys, it ain't it yet. But that's Bay. But what started as a one-night stand soon became an adorable relationship in the coming months. And Bonaboy fans couldn't be more excited as this will go on record as Odogu's first ever public relationship. Although the couple never collaborated on a song, the twice as tall singer constantly promoted Steph London's music, once called her The Boss, following a collaboration with Future. The British Jamaican singer was also always around to show love during his shows too. Off the music business scene, the lovebirds spent a lot of time together in London, traveling and occasionally cute PDA moments. During an interview in 2019, Bonaboy called Steph London his wifey and said, on a more serious note, that's my wifey. If you wanted a wifey, she's like the most perfect person with that description. Shortly after, during an interview with a US-based radio station, Steph London opened up that Bonaboy promised to marry her the first day they met. This was when everyone knew they were serious and nothing could break them, not even Odogu's alleged cheating at the time. This budding chip reportedly crashed several times between 2019 to 2020 but managed to find their way back together. Their first remote breakup happened in August 2019 and somehow they made up by January 2020 and celebrated their first relationship anniversary. Again in December of 2020, the lovebirds broke up. This happened after a 23-year-old UK-based lady identified as Joe Pearl claimed to have been the Grammy winner's secret lover since 2018. The lady said Bernard promised to marry her until he met Steph London and their relationship went downhill. Surprisingly, Steph and the African giant managed to sail the ship smartly and found their way back to each other's arms, surprising their fans with photos of them vacationing in Ghana just after December. Where are you dropping to? 
Sadly, it looks like the forces that wanted them to grow apart were suffocating a loving relationship. In February of 2021, another report about the power couple parting ways again flooded the internet. Surprisingly, at Bonner Boy's 30th birthday in July 2, 2021, they were spotted displaying PDA at Club Leaf in Miami. Interestingly, this was the last time they were captured together. On December 20, 2021, the strangest thing happened. After the Grammy winner was linked with American model Felicia Cordon, he stated there is no woman in his life on Twitter and wrote, And for your information, Odogu no gets wife. An obviously embarrassed Steph London, who couldn't believe she just got dumped publicly, quickly shared a cryptic post on Instagram saying that fame and money changed the kilometer kuna. No matter how much love, loyalty, or how good you treat someone, people are just not solid and scream real but are the fakest. Fame and money changes some people. When people show you who they are, believe them. As hard as that may be, God sees and knows. People genuinely need prayers, she wrote. Her sister, Shamera, who may have wondered about Nigerian men, quickly took to shading both Steph and Bonaboy in a video on Instagram and said, My sister's taste in men is so bad. I would have given her a zero, but will give her one. Months after this incident, fans assumed the ex-lovers had moved on, but it appears they haven't. Bonaboy, on May 13, released a new single titled, Last Last. Odogu sang about love and in the chorus emphasized on breakfast, a slang that means heartbreak. His over 6.7 million fans who sampled the song on YouTube and other streaming apps quickly concluded it was a diss track for Steph London. Of course, they began making a mockery of her on social media. When the British Jamaican singer couldn't take it anymore, she decided to make a diss track of her own. In a tweet on May 25, 2022, the rapper shared a snippet that sampled Bonaboy's last last single and wrote, First of all, my side of the story. 20,000 comments and it's yours. On Instagram, she increased the number of comments to 40,000 before sharing a side of the story. Of course, she met the target in no time as millions of fans are dying to know what really happened. The following day, the 16 Shots rapper released the track on YouTube. Shockingly, it wasn't a diss track as expected. The 30-year-old rapper in the video could be heard addressing nosy people. So I just wanted to gather everybody here to say it is, it is now time to mind your business. It's not everything that's for everybody, she said after laughing out loud. You now come here to hear people's business, nosy. Mind your business sometimes. No, mind the business that pays you. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and this Steph found me, Jesus Christ, what was that? Wait, wait, what was that? Hey, <laughs> God. <laughs> so I wasted my data to go and listen to that real lore. I have to mind my business. <laughs> well, I have to lie to Yahweh, man. Respectfully. In reaction, African giant Bonner Boy refused to talk to his heartbroken ex-girlfriend directly. Instead, he tweeted a link to his last last single which has got many of his fans reeling with laughter. Also, it appears the Grammy winner seemingly pulled down both the disc track snippet and the actual track on YouTube for illegally sampling his song. One of Bonner Boy's aide, King Manny, also called out Steph for chasing clout. He wrote on Instagram, you dropped four songs about your side of the story already, and nobody cared. Now you have sampled him. Congrats, you are finally getting your clout. Don't ever say Bonaboy did nothing for you. And he's still doing for you even after almost a year of breaking up. While the Jamaican rapper became the joke on Twitter, it looks like Bonaboy has begun to spark new dating rumors with BB Ninja star Nengi after they were recently captured sitting on a lap in a nightclub. <laughs> But hey, we are still digging to find out more about this budding relationship, so be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on the juicy details. In the meantime, what do you think about how Bonaboy and Steph London's love story ended? 
What do you think about the African Giant track, Last Last Song? Do you think it was dissing his ex-girlfriend? Lastly, do you believe Bonaboy has moved on and currently dating Bibi Ninja Nengi? opinion in the comment section down below if you found this video informative please comment like and share also don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched african stories and news we know you would like click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss out thanks for watching and see you on our next one